Hello everyone, it's Annie and I'm here today to tell you about my favorite graphic novels. Now I have been reading more and more graphic novels lately and I've actually been really enjoying them um, because I've been reading them on my breaks at the library because they're easy to finish. <laughs> so today I'm going to tell you about my favorites that I've read so far. Um, I'm going to split them up for children, middle grade, young adult, and adult. Um, a lot of them have crossover and can appeal to different age groups, but I needed some way to break these up. So let's go first with children's. The first one is actually a trilogy, and I've read all three of them, and it is the Tea Dragon Society trilogy. This is just the most heartwarming thing I have ever read in my entire life. Um, it also is right up my alley because I love tea, like, to an excessive amount. I'm like a little bit obsessed with it. Um, I just loved it. The drawing style is so, so cute. It's just oh, so adorable, so soft. And there's a lot of great LGBT representation in this trilogy. Um, the second book follows different characters. And then in the third book, they all come together at the end. It is so, so great. The concept of this is that there are these little mini dragons that are like also furry and really, really cute and they grow leaves and plants and flowers on the top of their heads that people pick and make tea out of. <laughs> it's just the cutest thing and like they have a really um, cute relationship with like the people who take care of them and oh my god it's just adorable. I can't believe I waited this long to read this. If you haven't read it yet you really need to. It's one of my favorite things I've read this year. And now for middle grade, which can also appeal to children, we have the Seance Tea Party, which the cover and the art style, again, adorable, just the cutest thing I've ever seen. Um, this is deals with a little bit of more heavier topics than the Tea Dragon Society. Um, it deals with growing up and learning uh, who you are and also about grief um, and it is a bit of a tearjerker but it's so cute as well. It follows the main character who is so adorable. She's like a little goth witchy girl who loves cryptids and ghosts and stuff like that and one day she has a little seance tea party and she ends up contacting a ghost girl that lives in her house and they become best friends and they form this really special friendship that um, can also be read as sapphic, and I love that, um, and it's just super special, and you get to see the main character grow up. Um, she starts the story as 12, and I believe she has one or two birthdays within the story, and just grow up and become a teenager and learn all new things about life, and it's so good. I just, I loved this so much. I just picked it up totally on a whim and just fell in love with it. I'm so glad I read it, and you should too. The next is Prince and the Dressmaker, which is one of my favorite books. If you read, if you saw my June wrap up, you know, um, I loved this so much. If you like Jellyfish Princess, the anime and manga, you will love this as well. This is about a non-binary prince who goes around at night dressed in magnificent ball gowns and going out to high society and everybody loves them. Um, but they hire this dressmaker to make their gowns in secret uh, and no one else knows their identity but this dressmaker and then they fall in love and it's just an incredible story about acceptance of this queer identity and the art style is also impeccable. It's one of my favorite art styles that I've read. I just love it. <laughs> I love the story, everything about the story. Like I wish I could read it again with fresh eyes. It was just so great. Next we have a story that is YA, so we're getting into YA now, and this is Magic Fish, uh, which is just, it's its kind of popular here on booktube, you might have heard of it before, I, it took me a long time to read it. Um, it was kind of sad because it deals with homophobia, so maybe that was why I was a little bit hesitant, but it is about this young Vietnamese American boy who struggles to come out to his mom, who is an immigrant from Vietnam to America. So we're dealing with that angle as well, um, which is very, very interesting and done super well. And he and his mother kind of communicate their feelings towards each other through her telling him stories. And the art style and all the art in here, again, impeccable. <laughs> like, uh, it's just seriously so amazing, stunning. 
Um, I have really loved this. It was heartwarming while also being heartbreaking. Um, it, it was just great. And if you haven't read it yet, don't wait like me. You really should. Another story that deals with the immigrant experience in America is Almost American Girl, which is actually a nonfiction. It's a YA graphic memoir by Robin Ha, and this deals with her story when her parents forcibly moved their family to Alabama in the US from Korea when she was a teenager, and it deals with her um, feeling like she's not quite American and then not quite Korean anymore when she goes back and tries to communicate with her family there. Um, it was very, very interesting to read and I really felt for her. Um, her storytelling was really well done and her art, of course, is amazing as well. And it was just really good to see her kind of grow into herself, become more confident and learn how to accept her identity no matter what country she was living in. And it was just such an amazing read. I'm really liking graphic memoirs, actually. I want to read a couple more, so look out for those. Speaking of graphic memoirs, we have On a Sunbeam by Tilly Walden. This is not her memoir. Her memoir is called Spinning, uh, which I also love, but I really love this sci-fi one that she wrote, which is just, the art is amazing. I love it. Just look at this cover, like stunning, stunning art of the galaxies. And she has like these space fish, which I am just obsessed with, like obsessed. Um, I love this sapphic sci-fi story. It's very quiet, but also somehow suspenseful. Like, I, it, it's just amazing. Amazingly strange and beautiful at the same time, if that makes sense. So the main character, uh, her story is kind of told through flashbacks. At the beginning, she is joining this construction team in space so there's that found family aspect as well and the whole crew of the ship that she becomes part of is amazing very diverse um there's a lesbian relationship there's a non-binary um character and i love them and I, I love the whole found family um and mia while she is doing this is also searching for her lost love that she fell out of touch with in high school and I love them so much. I just, I love everything about this story. Please, please read it. It's, it's such an amazing sapphic graphic novel. Okay, and now we have the one adult book, which I have seen people say is young adult. It's more like new adult because the characters are in college. It is Check Please, which is such a great comic. It's a web comic first, so you can read it for free still online. Um, I can put the link up and it's just so cute. The main character is this food blogger, like he vlogs himself baking stuff on his YouTube channel. He's adorable, just very, very precious, and he joins the boys hockey team at his new university and the story is about him uh, with his found family there and also falling in love with one of his hockey teammates and they are the cutest together. I love them so much. <laughs> um, yeah, I I think this was the first graphic novel I read because I haven't really read that many, but I just tore through it. There are two volumes of this and I love both of them so much and there's a lot of tearjerker moments but also super, super sweet moments that just, uh, it's so cute. So a little bit of a shorter video today, but thank you so much for watching. And please let me know down below in the comments what your favorite graphic novels are, especially if they have LGBT representation. I'd really love to hear about it. I'm always looking to add more books to my list. So thank you so much. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel for more bookish videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye.